All right, so this week's video breakdown is uh, the first play of the game against Texas and Oklahoma. It was a 75-yard touchdown. Really simple bubble screen, but it shows the importance of speed training or track and field training in the off season, right? So if you are a football player and you're trying to take yourself to the next level, it is essential that you get some type of speed training, whether it's acceleration work, top end work, uh, deceleration, footwork, or make a combination of all of those, right, in the off season. Because if you don't, trust me, you're gonna be left behind um, because now, we have linebackers that are running four 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 three, right? DBs are running four twos, receivers running four twos four three. So if you're not fast, the likelihood of you being on the field, it just drops down, right? So you're not gonna get any touches, you're not gonna make any plays, and especially if you're trying to get to that next level, whether it's high school, varsity, college, NFL, CFL, whatever it is, right? If you're just continuing to trying to play football at a next level, at a high level you need speed training, right? So we're just gonna break this down, we'll look at it. Again, like I said, it was a simple play, simple bow screen, but it just shows the importance of speed. All right, makes one man miss, nice stiff arm, second man miss, and he's off to the races. Easy. All right, so I often say this um, to a lot of my athletes, right, is if you are able to make more than one person miss, it's a race to, to the end zone. So having that speed, that top end speed, high velocity to get there will, will you know, you'll guarantee you a touchdown 90% of the time if you make multiple people miss, right? Because at that point, it's either about angles, but if you would just have outright speed, it doesn't matter what angle you take, you're not going to catch a person, right? So most of the times, right, you'll see athletes make one or two people miss, right? And then they'll get caught 20, 30 yards later. Simply, one, either the defender takes a really good angle or they're just not fast enough, right? And like I said, speed is everything in any field sport, but especially football, right? So... We're gonna dive into this just a little bit. All right, so watch. Simple bubble screen, nothing crazy, right? So you're just doing this because you want your athlete, right? You know you have an athlete out there and you just want to get him the ball quick and get him in space, right? So he hits it, nice breakdown, one, two. Now right here, boom, look at this position. Real simple, right? Like I said, it doesn't matter where you're starting from. Acceleration is the same, it's universal, right? You're trying to get horizontal from a vertical position, right? So a great shin angle, right? He's getting out, right? And it gets, look how low that shin gets, right? So it's dropped down even more right here, right? And he's getting north-south now, right? So he's pushing out, boom. That first step, look where his first step is. Boom, that's perfect. Look where that back knee is, right? So we got this small gap. That lets us know once he hits the ground, he's on to that next step, right? There's no wasted movement, no wasted motion, not too much breaking force, right? So he's out of there, right? We already know he's going to be accelerating quickly. So he hits. He's out. Second step, same thing. North-south. Even with a defender coming, right? Still great mechanics. Stiff arms. He's still driving out, accelerating, right? Pushes him down. He's up tall. Gets up. And right here, right? So I know I show a lot of drills of how to accelerate from a vertical position, so pretty much standing up. And this is one of the reasons why you need to, right? Because there's going to be times, right, where you're already up tall and you can't just drop down again and accelerate, right? Because that's just going to, it's going to slow you down, right? So right here, once he's in this position, he's still, even with breaking that tackle, he lands underneath his center of mass that what is back foot, right? Again, we talked about this gap is right there. So he's already on to that next step, all right? So right there, he's up tall. You can tell, let me draw this arrow, he's up tall. Right, he's not accelerating, he's ready to get into transition, right? So from here, boom, makes that man miss. And right here, this is where we talk top end mechanics, 
And this, from this point on, it's all hips, hamstrings, right? Hips and hamstrings. Look at that right there. Nice, beautiful front side action, nice back side action. He's hitting the ground. And let's try to zoom this in right there. That's that's dang near a positive, right? So when I say positive, that back knee or that knee that's swinging forward, right? When his front leg hits the ground, that back knee is either slightly in front or at zero, right? That's what you want to aim for, right? Most of the time you see athletes who don't have the greatest mechanics, they hit the ground and they're right here, right? So that means it's more breaking force on the ground. Let me get this in red. It's more breaking force on the ground, right? So they spend more time on the ground than they are in the air, right? And I know I've said this before, but the athlete that spends more time in the air and less time on the ground is gonna be running faster, running more efficient, right? Because they're applying a great amount of force and getting off of it quickly, right? So that's all what sprinting is, right? So as we go, continues, right? Now I want you to look at his arm action right here. Boom. Now it's how a big elbow drive. Let me go a couple more clicks so you can see this. Big backside elbow drive. Look how nice and bent that is, right? And on the front side, he's tight, right? So let me draw that again. Boom. Boom, right? So that was probably not the greatest drawing, but you get the point, right? So he's big on the backside, tiny on the front side, or I'll say short on the front side, right? So that lets you know, right, he's coming straight up with that knee drive, right? And he's getting great extension off that back leg, right? When that allows him now to, once he hits the ground, right, once he's moving forward, he's already moving forward, he attacks straight down, right? Straight down, and that allows him, right, to maintain that speed and build off of that speed, right? Too often we see athletes try to, get this in red, try to push forward and reach forward, right? So they're doing, it's like a double positive, right? You're doing too much. You're trying to get too horizontal. You're already moving horizontal. So at this point when you're in top end, you need to be working, all right, I'm trying to tech straight down, right? I'm trying to put my feet down. Another way to think of it, right? So it's up, down, vertical, right? At this point, and then you can tell, right? Boom. He's up, down, look how many steps it takes, but he's covering ground and he's moving, right? Look at this referee back here. This referee has no chance. Man's trying to see where he's at. He's moving. This is perfect sprint mechanics going through, right? And like I said, I know a lot of people are like, well, you never have the chance to run in this open field like this. This is an example. And it happens more times than not, right? So if you train like this, right, you'll be ready, right? They always say stay ready so you don't have to get ready, right? So working top end mechanics, working spin training is going to help you a lot, right? Um, on the football field, whether it's acceleration, top end, those are the two biggest things, right? As a receiver, you need to have high acceleration and high velocity. As a um, running back, your acceleration needs to be off the, the, the chart because it's one, two steps and you're out of there, right? You gotta hit the hole 100% and get, get north, south, right? So, that's why these things, right, these principles are universal. It doesn't matter what sports you play, it's needed, right? So obviously, right, look at him, he's excited, right? Obviously, it varies with track and field with the distance, but the principles never change, right? So if, if you get these down, lock these down, you're going to be a more complete player, more complete athlete. And I, trust me, coaches want athletes on the field. So it doesn't matter what position you are. And what position you play, they'll make sure you get a spot, a roster spot, a chance to to play because it doesn't matter if it's special teams, um, running back, receiver, whatever, right? They need athletes on the field to win, right? Um, that and the mix of discipline. But if you're an athlete and you got these these things in your bag, trust me, you're gonna have a long and successful career.